gathered here though, so maybe they're thinking about it. They do have the high ground. Okay, they get gone up, but no, that's just the communication is a little bit off. They go in next, but at the same time, Slack gets gone in the back lines. We do have the Doi popping his rage, trying to survive, but he's taking too much damage. Will be taken down as Elements Pro Gaming, even though they jumped on two different targets, they did end up securing the first kill. Let's see what happens now as the Napalm charges are stacking up from the bad runners, trying to just secure themselves that they will get some kills in return. But now they're focusing him down. They know that he's the problem and they will try and kill him. They have already killed two. They maybe end up killing a third one as he's just trying to, dis he's trying to disengage. He will try and get himself away. We do have an impale available. They will go for the impale. They will catch the bat around and they should get the kill on him. Three dead on S plus four. They get nothing in return and what, what a trade off. What a trade-off. They will just deny themselves instantly. They will be back in the lane pretty much as the creeps reappear. So knowing that the Ogre Matter is probably looking for him. A lot of those camps were blocked as well. You can see there's three blocked camps. Alright, yeah, three blocked camps. So uh, yeah, you know, the Bloodseeker is <laughs> being forced around on the map. But he's just in the enemy was right now. Mid lane, we do have the Ogre Matter securing a kill on to Tamai Wilds. Now they will go on him. They will try and secure themselves that kill. And Lebron Dota is a little bit in danger. He will be slowed up. Is it going to be enough though? They will go in. They do miss the flame break actually, but they should be able to secure the kill either way. And indeed they do. So that is Ogre Magi dropping down. We do have the puck now coming in, trying to get a kill onto the Bloodseeker. The Bloodseeker does not get hit by the Illusionary Orb though. And now Gog may be the one in danger. We do have the Silence coming out. Face Shift will dodge out the Silence, but Gog is taking a lot of damage from this large low bat runner. He is trying to get himself away. He will have one more Face Shift available. He will be able to dodge one more bullet, but that's all he's going to be able to do. He will dodge the bullet and the Bad Runner's committing, he goes up to the high ground, he will get the kill on the puck, but he ends up, does he? Yeah, he dies first, so uh, the Bad Runner does not get any experience, so even if even for the Bad Runner in the top lane as well, just making sure that Slasher will have some comeback found to reach up to, he does have Tranquil's Wand, Wind Lace, potentially going for something like the, what's it called? the blink first but uh, we could just as easily see a drums picker come online we do have milan maybe a little bit in trouble here as he is going back and forward we do have that napalm burn coming out from slasher trying to get the kill but now he knows that he has to get himself away he goes over the cliff swift ending is chasing him though he wants to get the kill we do have swift ending going for the dark pack he does have his ultimate available to pursue illusionary out comes out slasher was taking a lot of damage the raindrops will take the worst of it he may actually survive yes they didn't expect him oh the high ground missed slash low but no swift ending will get the kill with the dark pack being used so uh, they thought he was a little bit easy to kill but he was He's trying to poke Tame out a little bit, but uh, he will have to back himself up and get some better thoughts. Either way, you know, he's forcing a lot of people to just stay in the mid lane. The Bloodseeker is still not level 6. Now we have Mitch coming from the back lines. Nice skewer from Tame while just getting himself away from both the Pug as well as the Nyx. Now we do have the Nyx. Okay, not getting silenced up. Gok also dodges it out. Nice impale onto two heroes. We do have Gok going in, getting one kill on the Jakira, getting the silence off onto Roger as well. Roger is pretty speedy right now. He may be able to get himself out of here. We do have Slasher as well going for that. Napalm slow. Gok will be the main target. They go on. He will be burning down. The Nyx should be the next one getting gone. As the Doi makes a TP rotation into the lane. And Mitch will be taken down trying to TP up. But that's going to be futile. Two dead on the side of Elements Pro Gaming. And all they get was the Jakiro. So definitely not worthwhile their trade. Losing the Nick, getting gone on by LeBron, just shooting out an Ignite, just always poking, always poking Tame while well, as much as he possibly can. If it's, you know, if anything, maybe he falls the TP rotation, maybe he just uh, secures that Tame Wall will go away from the lane. There's multiple ways that we can see that work out. Swift ending in the top lane, gets a solo kill on the blood seat, just because, you know, he wanted that one kill. Let's see mid lane. Van Scott going in, getting a lot of damage done with that Blood Rage using his Ice Path, but this is pay this is not paying off in the end as he ends up dropping down. A lot of damage being done to enemies, but also a lot of damage being taken. LeBron Dota will go in now. He wants to get that kill on the Bloodseeker. They do have the Sands of Air. We'll get the kill on the Bloodseeker as well. As S plus fall, they lose two heroes. Now in the mid lane, Golem gets committed onto Tamar Wild. Tamar Wild goes for that skew away, but they, they're committing, they want to get the kill, they should get the kill as well, as Tamar Wild will drop down Slasher, does have a lasso available, can use it onto Gok, but he's silenced for the time being, we do have the Ice Path coming out onto Tamar, onto the Puck, T Puck is taking a lot of damage, will maybe get himself out of this one, but... Ooh, yeah, the healing from the Shadow Ward is keeping him alive indeed, so we do have the Bat Rat dropping down, the Ogre will die as well, Milan is trying to go for the TP, yeah, we do have Mitch, Sitting here just waiting to go on someone, but no, Vanskog gets gone on the Golem and, and Mitch. Just enough to get that kill on 
the what's it called on the Jakiro. The Jakiro is like as poor as you could possibly imagine. He has a wind lace, not even boots available just yet, so so in the bottom lane will be gone and will be silenced up, will be purged down as he's taking a lot of damage. The armor will give him a little bit more time to work with, but not enough with the other puck getting silenced up. Maybe dropping down here if he's not careful with the other rupture being used as well. Guard needs to stand his ground. He is a little bit annoyed by this, though he will just go to his ball. He will stand his ground yet again, but Gog drops down from the rupture. The Bloodseeker has died. The Lifestyle has already died as well. Slide throw. They're taking a lot of damage as well. We do have that Jakiro burning come out with the Macro Pyre, but it's not going to drop anyone down from the side of Elements Pro Game. They are still four people alive, and Vance Gold dies as well. So, yeah, there we have it, guys. Four Bottom and he has caught up, he's barely ahead of the Magnus. Um, however, it is the Slark who is, you know, the man in front. 1500 gold ahead of the Lifesteal. The Lifesteal is just only having an armor right now. The Bad Rider gets going on again. The Spike Carapace once again just doing so much work. And you can see Mitch, he knows that this is a Spike Carapace game. Going for the max Spike and, uh, you know, kiss it. Alright, Mitch. Taking a lot of work here. Be very low, just sitting down here invisible. They don't have the detection for him. And we do have the wall maybe dropping down here as the dog gets a kill with that life slow. The golem is doing a lot of damage in the meantime. Though we do have the dream card coming out from Gog. Not able to be using it on anyone but Vansko though. Vansko is taking a lot of damage himself. We do have the Slark trying to survive. He needs to be careful about his HP. The Jakira drops down though. The bad rider said the life still is dead as well. Roger, full speed on this Bloodseeker, but can he imagine? Sidoy. He's trying to get that Echo Save up and running, but it will take him a long time to finish it. Alright, top lane, we do have Tamer Wild going for that skill way onto Gok, but this is a lot of damage being done as Mitch just goes in with the four stuff and gets that initiation onto the Tamer Wild. Magnus gets him killed very easily. The Nyx Assassin trying to find something that is an... There's a sentry rod spotting them out if they go to the lower ground, and there's plenty of sentries here for the side of S plus 4, so if they're not careful, they will be spotted out, but they are moving in deep. They want to go in and help their friend. We do have the Jakiro getting taken down. The Slark may get a TP out. Indeed, he will, as, you know, Batrun is like, oh, flings on both the, both the offline as well as the mid hero as the first item. You need to get something done, right? And while I'm saying this, Slark has a completed Silver Edge up for grabs with the Echo Saber completed as well, so he's pretty found. We have a mechanism on the Warlock now, not going for the Might, that's just going for straight into that, you know, okay, we are having a good time right now, we don't want to give up kills, so let's go for Mech. Tamar Wild will be gone here, he may be a little bit in trouble, he does not have the ability to blink away, doesn't want to use the RP either, and uh, who can blame him as he was going to die then no matter what, so... Uh, is spotting out the bad runner. We do have a rotation coming out from the warlock trying to get a kill on this guy. Let's see how they do it. We do have Mitch going in, getting the stun off, getting the hit off, getting the impale off, and the bad runner will be taken down slowly but surely. He is burning to a crisp. We do have Mitch taking a little bit of damage on the way out though, but either way, Bloodseeker gets gone on now by Swift Ending. They will get the kill. Phase shift used on the puck, just dodging out the silence. Now the doy was here as well, and he is not going to be here for much longer as he was taken down. Infested into the bad weather and uh, you know, he's gonna pay the price. Thousand worth it inside of Elements Pro Gaming now. They do have the Roshan that way. Uh, the Slark, I imagine. Yeah, the Slark has the Aegis. He has something like a Skull Basher flying out now. Yep, indeed. So, bam, bam, bam. Mid lane with the other light throw dropping down, being silenced up by the Tug. A lot of damage being done to this guy. So he's just not quick enough with that reaction with the Rage and he ends up paying the price yet again. If they get the silence off from the puck, you know, he's he's just as dead as you can be. Slash though, in the high ground, they do know he's up here. They do have the vision of that fire just going left and right. They do have the ward on the cliff after all. So with the ward's dying breath, you know, it will get a kill on the bat run and now it will expire anyways. So stopping him from using the macro pie onto swift ending. Either way, the macro pie comes up. It is going to zone a little bit away. We do have a sentry wall being put down here. It is in the worst. The ground dog is going to try and find it. He will find it. He will take it away so he is taking a lot of damage. will be RP'd up. He has already used his ultimate as well. He needs to be careful. He will be taken down. The golem gets committed. But the Aegis is already down. This is not looking like the best fight for the side of Elements Pro Gaming. They'll have to disengage themselves. Swift ending gets the pounds away. We do have the puck just using his ultimate. Trying to zone away everyone from S plus 4. We do have the day gun coming out onto the bat right as well. The stuns came out, S plus 4, we do have the Vansko now being taken down, Swift ending, will go in, get another kill onto the Lifesteal, Jakiro buys back instantly, Lifesteal buys back instantly, they've lost two 
they could no trying to get a catch in the top lane potentially but with the life still down here they will have to just switch their locations they're going bottom Sludge low, maybe also gonna jump on someone. Mitch will be spotted out. He is moving around. They will get the initiation off. He does go for the spike carapace first, though. The golden comes out from Milan. Milan trying to keep Mitch alive as well. Will heal him up with him with the mechanism with the shadow word. With the hood, everything just trying to keep him up. Mitch will not drop down this day as he is just standing as Grand Sadoy gets taken down. Van Scott will get killed by the golem. Swift then gets a kill from the slug onto the Bloodseeker as well. He does get the rupture on him in the end, but that's the only thing that didn't take the suspense anymore. Alright, LeBron Dota gets a rupture in his face, but uh, I don't think he is too worried about this. He's just like standing still, but he gets jumped on by Swift Ending, quick pick off. As the Metarax is now down, the rain tracks will be quick to fall. Elements Pro game, that's you know, enough for him. He has the Scotty on the Swift Ending slot as well. Dagon level 5 actually on the puck, so a very, very level Dagon. Same while goes in for an RP onto the puck. They may actually be able to kill him, they will kill him. As the rupture was used while the skewer was active, so a lot of damage was done just from the skewer. So uh, he has to go up high ground if so he can take it away. Alright, let's see as plus 4 going for smoke gang. The puck is not here, they go in. They get the lasso off onto the stock. The stock may actually be dropping down. He is taking so much damage, he will be killed. This could be big for from S plus 4. The Brown Dota will be the next one getting run down. He will be dropping as well. As the four star blink initiation from the bad rider was not expected from Elements Pro Game Plus 4, they are very happy about that trade off. You know, suddenly having a 25,000 net worth deficit, they're now down to 20,000 in one small poof. So, very much needed. They have already lost one side of Rax as well. So, the next Roshan is going to be crucial. But as I say, that the life still in the bottom lane, just trying to push it out, does get taken down by the puck as they do so much damage to the next plus the puck together. So, no life still means that S plus 4, they will have to disengage themselves. Alright, we do have the skill maybe being used onto Mitch. They're waiting for the spike carapace to be gone. Oh, and now the skewer. Mitch gets taken down on this next assassin. The rupture into skewer is painful as all hell. We do have Ansgar trying to go for the TP out. He will actually succeed doing so. The Bloodseeker has already been taken down. Now we do have the Magnus trying to disengage. He does have a blink available in a couple seconds. Does have an RP up as well. He may have to use it if he wants to survive, but he will die regardless of Skog. It's not taking no for an answer. Two for one trade. Nyx dies, but they do lose both the Bloodseek as well as the Magnus. Alright, Swift ending in the middle and he's trying to go on the bat rider, but he will he will get on better minds. It's, uh, it's all bit it's not worth it right now. Alright, Swift ending gets skewered back. A lot of time is being stun on him. He does get up heat up as well. As the slot may be a little bit in trouble here. We do have the last of potential being used. Swift ending is spotted out. The duo of the lasso, they will go for the lasso. They will drag him across the map, and he is going to be dropping down. But that's the RP the for that guys. All right, the next gets put in between the middle towers. He will force off himself away. Will be able to just go bird again, but no, he gets taken down by the blood seeker. That's one dead inside of Elements Pro Gaming. Nice stream call coming out from the side of Elements Pro Gaming as they do get the Nyx, they, the Knights, they do get the Shakira, they do get the blood seeker as well. Bloodseeker and the life the will buy back both of them. The golem is down now and look at this slow scan being used. The radiant scan comes out as well. Doesn't scout out anyone just yet though. As they are barely, barely south of that radiant scan. Oh nope, the scan did not find them. Oh now we have the life still getting gone and taking a lot of damage. We are still sitting trying to just bash him down, but now the drag with the rapture taking a lot of damage. RP gets used as well. And looks like the stock will drop down. The Ogre Magic will drop down as well. This could be big. But Elements Pro Gaming, they want to take this fight. We'll do have the puck. Looks like he's a little bit in danger. Go, Gark does go for the silence. We have Mitch getting a big impale off. Actually saving Gark as he was going to definitely drop down. That's the Doi. He's going in trying to get another kill. Milan will be the target. He will be the one dropping down. Mitch is now borrowed. He will try to save himself. But they find him. They know where he is. The gem will be dropping down as Gark. Will get a kill on the bad rider. And he will drop down afterwards. Let's see. Mitch now forced offing himself over the cliff. Looks like. Hmm, this is uh, okay. Well, they get a kill, guys. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I guess the life still was like, okay, there must be someone behind. The life still is down for 50 seconds. No buyback available. Swift ending will go on high ground. We'll try and just commit for this. Rupture will be used on him. He will just pounce himself away. 
Standing on the low ground, making sure that he doesn't have to deal with this. But you have Mitch, though, getting dragged in, into the tower. Swift ending goes in with the Rupture still active. Oh, he gets himself stuck, though. This could be big for S plus fall. This could be the turning point. But no, the full staff will be used by LeBron Dota as Swift ending. His little fuck up will be repaired. Just making sure that Swift ending does not drop down. Mitch is still dead. They want to get this Melorax before. Life still is back up and alive. They go for the Golem as well. They know they have to commit for this, but the Golem didn't actually hit onto anyone who was him on well. Going for the skill on the Swift ending, just trying to waste as much time as possible. The deal Roger, maybe dropping down here in the middle of the towers. Yes, indeed, he will do that. As he goes for the TP out, doesn't actually succeed getting out of there. Lightfield's not back up, but the man counts himself a little bit away. Reset, get some more HP, and then he will go right back in where he wanted to fight. Sedoi will be his target. He's going in, he's taking so many essences. He's on 15 right now. Sedoi needs to be a little bit careful. Swift ending is doing a lot of damage. And the Dagon from the puck getting the kill on the Lightfield. Lightfield's dead again for 70 seconds. This may be just the end as the tier 4000 is gone and the ancient is falling. And yep, the ancient is definitely falling. That's the end of it guys. As the best this best of three series is now going to be one to zero. Four elements.